After all this time, finally, after collecting seven of the Chaos Emeralds, red, green, yellow, purple, blue, orange, white, the Chaos Emeralds is mine! I am the best reaper in this game, and I'll prove this message. I am in it, old man. Yo, guys. What is up, it's your boy Rudy here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So anyways, my boys, in this video, I finally completed my dream build in pretty much in Stigmas. You know, pretty much. I have four souls and three attacks, and I can't believe I actually did it. I mean, I know I wanted to make it really badly, but I wouldn't think... I make it right away so I'm gonna basically tell you guys of pretty much what I basically have in my uh, in my stigmas I'm like a holy crap li listen to me I can like when I didn't have assassination when I didn't have assassination I never really liked doing corrupt the sky in this hard mode but now since I have assassination I want to start making gameplays of basically being a dungeon just mostly keep on running it <laughs> I went from not liking Corrupt the sky in this hard mode to where like I have assassination. I want to start doing it now. I need to find a decent team for that. I want to start making gameplays of that. So, anyways, in AQ with a with AQ with a decent amount of uh, a team, in the first enrage you could get the first boss under under a 50 percent HP in the first enrage within 30 seconds. Within 30 seconds, the final boss in AQ. I made a video pretty much on it and under under 50% it's assassination is that crazy so before before I actually get to it um let me tell you my my seconds of my uh, of my skills pretty much all right so first of all so first of all right um my my uh, my bonus size is three minutes and 30 seconds I got I got bonus signs to a minute and fifty a minute and fifty seven seconds, meaning that it only takes two minutes to come back. And as for as for my shadow reef, it's a two minute cooldown. And I got my shadow reef from uh two minutes to a minute and a minute and eight seconds. I check this out. That's my ultimate, and it comes back it comes back every two minutes. And my shadow reap is a minute and a minute and seven seconds. It's about to reach the uh, 50, 59 second mark right about now. Okay, I'm, I missed, I, I missed did that. But pretty much, I know no one doesn't really care about that. And as for my assassination, pretty much, I could, I could use Strata and Escape every every seven seconds it's eight seconds but it's like it's like a little it's like a little one a little like a 0 0.1 second off of the uh, eight second go straight to seven second i could use i could use stride and skate every every seven seconds and i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking with with th with with four souls with four souls and and three superior attacks is that not good enough if you don't think that's good enough right i haven't even showed you my true power yet if i could get my weapon to tier 5 energiastic i could use striding every five seconds with with just with just four with just four souls with four souls and three superior attacks i can really get my stride and escape to five seconds that is that is really credible but what makes it really credible is that i would not think i would not think that i would make this build right away like i got my hands on the tier 5 energy estic and uh if it, if it wasn't if it wasn't for that i'd be sitting on i'd be sitting on nine seconds i do want to say to be honest though, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say something if it wasn't for decreased cooldown with full kai's decreased cooldown by two percent and if I didn't get that halo, like, let me show you something real quick. Right, let's, uh, let's remove the gloves, right? Alright, I could use it, like, what, every 10 seconds? 
Yeah, I can use it every 10 seconds. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for the freaking Halo, and then you get you you get decrease decrease cooldown by two with full kinds, then I would say this build is garbage. And then I I probably I probably went with five souls, five souls. Huh? Oh, I didn't put my Halo back on. I probably went with five souls and two attacks. But otherwise, I really love this build. So let me tell you more about this build, right? All right. So I got three superior attacks. All together in total, I am gaining about increased damage when the monster in, is enraged by 12%. By, wait. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12%. And then I'm, I'm gaining about increased power by 6. Then I'm, gain, and then I'm getting about increased damage by 2%. Increased damage when attacking from behind by... 4.4.6 4. so pretty much all together in total with my three with my three superior attacks my three superior attacks i'm gaining about increased damage by 20 percent pretty much 12 from enrage four four from four four percent is coming from uh increased damage when attacking from behind four four point six then and then increase increase damage increase damage by two percent that's pretty much that's making the 18 percent but i'm also including the uh, the six the six power like increased damage by two so pretty much that's like 20 percent right there but it doesn't stop there i have like when i combine my increase my increased damage my increased damage when attacking attacking enraged monsters like i'm gaining 12 percent Bro, it feels like I'm using six buffs on my weapon. How, how can I actually explain? Like, it feels like... I'm glad to say that. It feels like I'm using double, like, double decreased skill cooldown by 7.2. I'm it, it feels like I'm using six buffs. Six buffs on my weapon. You know how you get fire? Bro, with, with every single time when the monster gets enraged... And when I spam assassination, I'm also, bro, it feels like I'm doing like increased damage by 220% with just basically my superior attacks and spamming invisible. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just really crazy, like, I'm doing increased damage by 23% when the monster is enraged, but not only that, I can also spam invisible. And then, I have my four, I have my four souls. So all together in total, I'm getting about decreased, like, let's see, like, all my souls, I'm getting decreased, decreased cooldown by 3, 3.6%, like 3, 3.6% on my Gaster, my Ops, not my souls, sadly not this one, this one got double blue robes, and uh, pretty much this one right here, so all together in total with my 4 souls, I'm getting about decrease, decrease cooldown by 14, 14.4, 14 14.4%. Um, I'm not really a sweaty person. I'm not really a sweaty person, but like, um, in order to do the, the best damage, most people want to try to combine the, uh, assassin dark, with dark bonnet and is actually broken by our, I guess you could say, People try to get the dark binding to a uh, six seconds, so that way you can also you can always like spam invis with dark binding because uh, is is absolute is absolute broken. But you know I'm here to basically have fun. Anyway, due to due to the reaper nerf, it basically pushed me to base. I can't maintain grab strike so easily. I can't maintain my old my old rotation, but it's like I can maintain my grim strike, but like. It basically, it, because assassination it made me have, I have, I have a new, pretty much rotation, due to the, uh, due to the, uh, you, you, you get what I'm, you get what I'm basically, you get what I'm basically saying. Uh, there's also one more thing I do want to say. Um, this is really such a great deal. I could get my shard escape to five seconds, but I need, I need tier five energy estic. 
if this is not a really great build, then I'd say five souls. I want to say five souls and two superior attacks. Pretty much with five souls, you could get your Strahd escape to uh to pretty much two seconds, pretty much. But you gotta have insane RNG. I do want to say you it. I know it's possible that you could get you could get triple decreased cooldown. It's possible to get the triple decreased cooldown, but I'm not risking that. I know somebody that has four souls that has triple, but that's gonna take over 500 tries, 500 tries to over a thousand. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun. And also, let me tell you something funny. In all my triple, I mean all my double, my double souls decrease cooldown. Each one of them has an MP, an, M, an MP on it. Raise, raise MP by 300. And then this one is uh, increase MP republished by 30. Increase MP republished by 30. Uh, increase MP republished by 3%. When it, what is up with me and MP on all my rolls, pretty much? But anyways, I do want to say this is pretty much the most incredible build I have ever I have ever seen. Like double, double enrage, and then just spamming invisible. I guess some people don't really like that. It, it is what it is. It is what it is to make someone happy. But this is my dream bill. And pretty much I do want to say I don't want to make any more. I don't I don't want to make any more souls. So altogether in total, this is the last thing. This one, this one right here took me over two attempts to basically get a double row. This one right here, over 80 tries. Over 80, 75 tries. This one right here, somewhere around 25 tries. And this one right here, legit 30 tries. There is a time to where it took someone over 200 tries. 200 to get a double, the double decrease cooldown. Triple or double decrease cooldown, it is, it is still really difficult. So anyways... That is my stigma build, and I pretty much I wanted to basically go over it. I really love this build. <clears throat> so, anyways, it's been your boy Rito, and peace out, my boys. Enjoy your day.